95.7 The Hog. Hey, it's the homegrown happy hour. Riggs, Guy, the Morning Hog Brew Review with that dude, Vinny. What's, What's going on? on? Hey, ooh, welcome to this wonderful hey, Friday. Check out my new... Oh, you got one too? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll put mine away. All right. Yeah. Mine's gone too. Ooh. We're all set. I, I was told there'd be no cardio in this segment, Vinny. I'm going to pass out. Well, f- apologize to our guests first for making them watch us dance. Yeah, I apologize, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got the fellas from Shinerbach here. Right. Uh, henceforth, the big old bell buckle. All right. We're pretty excited. We've had Shinerbach. We've had you guys for a long time now, right? Pretty excited down here in our territory. Uh, Shiner's been around a long time. We've got a good array of beers from them. So I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce each other and uh, tell us a little bit about Shiner and kind of roll. Um, we've got them in order, so when you're ready to pour the beers, you let me know. All right, Take it away. Yeah, well, thank you, guys. Uh, my name is Mike. I work with Shiner here in Florida. Uh, we have multiple beers for everybody to try today. We have our Shiner Light Blonde. We have our Shiner Bach, which is our flagship beer. Two new brands, Day, uh, Day Quencher, Wicked Juicy, and we also have our upcoming seasonal holiday cheer. So those two new brands are so new, we don't even have them in Florida yet, right? That is correct. That you is can, correct. Can you I believe am, what I did for you? We I, brought this down? Yeah, I'm impressed with your uh, with your power to pull it, because I'm eyeballing that juicy IPA. Oh, yeah. We may not even get to that one. Nah, it's you just, may just disappear. It may disappear before we pour it. Yeah, imagine. Right. imagine Over it can here happen. Paul. Hi, Hi Paul. It's Paul Stoddard. I'm the National Council Manager for Shiner. So, cool thing about Paul, we were just talking this morning. Uh, Paul used to work for another uh, brewery company and used to come down here in the 80s to, oh, really? to kind of do some stuff down here, didn't you, Paul? Oh, yeah, the good old days of uh, spring break in the 80s. Oh, <laughs> well, I would, I would like to thank you and apologize for the five spring breaks that I took in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I contributed a lot to the success of your company. Yeah, that's you know. awesome. <laughs> But, uh, Financially, anyway. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Shiner's based out of where? Shiner, Texas, of all places. Um, so, Shiner, Texas is a small little town. Um, there's not much going on there besides beer and some other big factories where people are working. Uh, kind of near San Antonio for anyone that needs a land point. It's okay. about, I would say, maybe an hour and a half from there. Um, Shiner's been around since 1909, so we're really happy to have some old beers. That well, Shiner Bach is our oldest beer that we have uh, here today, um, but we have a lot of old traditional styles and good lagers, and we are a traditional German brewery. Uh, the name of our brewery is Spetzel Brewery, and uh, he originally, Cosmo Spetzel, was our founder who came over from Bavaria. So we have a long-standing history with Czechs and Germans, and uh, you know Paul could probably talk about that. You know, been around the company a little bit longer than I have, so. Well, a special brewery was formed in 1909, but actually uh, the town of Shiner was immigrants from Germany and Czechs, and they were cotton farmers, and they wanted their beer. So in actually 1907, they formed the Shiner Brewing Company, and I think they were better farmers than they were brewers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so they brought over Cosmo Spetzel, which was, he was a, um, a German. It's the and, best name, too, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I, I wish at, my name was Cosmo. I'm mad now that I'm I wish my name Cosmo. was Spetzel. I yeah, like that. That'd be good. <laughs> if you look at our logo, it's really a cotton ball. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And oh. that's really the image. Cosmo Spetzel had a special advertising and marketing campaign. He used to go around the fields and used to leave bottles <coughs> of Shiner on fence posts. Really? That was his, uh, that's the way he introduced the brand to the... Uh, the area of Shiner. I love that. That's awesome. That I is, wish we could that, do that, that now. That's renegade marketing. Right there. <laughs> it is, like man. That. That's, that's grassroots marketing it doing is. that whole uh, thing. If you're refusing a, a fence post beer, you're an idiot. Yes, you are. You're a truly. crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> you got to act quick, too. Yeah, it's that's true. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah, I've been to Waco, and uh, I would imagine it would uh, not last very long out there. Uh, Shiner is almost halfway between Houston and San Antonio, right off the 10. Right, nice. It's actually almost exactly between... Um, San Antonio and Houston. That's one of the claim to fame. Yeah. I think there's 2,600 people in the city of Shiner. Most of them are somewhat related to each other. Okay. So it's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the largest Shiner account in Texas is actually a gas station. In the back, um, they play dominoes. Really? Wow. So really? It's a, uh, so if you're in Texas, uh, you definitely want to stop in Shiner. It's one of the iconic towns in, uh, in the state of Texas. So, yeah. Um, well, Pretty sure they're drinking beer there too, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and mostly Shiner, yeah. <laughs> Shiner beers and Domino. So uh, you guys are all fifty states. 
Uh, 49. 49. 49. Okay, yeah, which one are you missing? Hawaii? Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. Tough to get out there with the whole shipping cost and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. Actually, we're making a play to try to get that um, those jobs in Hawaii. Oh, are you? You guys are looking out for them? <laughs> I, got, I got the Hawaiian uh, surf up thing right yeah. now. Yeah. Who would want that territory <laughs> for so, Greg? Alone? I know, right? Head out. I, I do have to tell news. you, I, I've talked to you on the phone like, more than I've at, at first time I met you, and I'm picturing with the voice he has, I'm thinking it's going to be this like six foot nine guy yeah. uh, coming out going, yeah, hey, I'm Mike, I'm a sure shiner. So I'm not saying you're small, but your voice is awesome for what you got there. So it's a great I, radio voice. I've been in public multiple times where they say, oh, how are you? Did you find everything you need? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. They're like, whoa, I didn't expect all that to come out of here. Okay. <laughs> Vinny, so by good. the way, normally does not judge a man by the sound of his voice, but by the size of, of his, his hands. hands and how yeah. it looks around the can. Absolutely. So when you put your hand around a can, see? Right? That's how it looks. So go yeah. ahead. Put your hand around. Does it disappear? Nice. Uh, Look right. at that, huh? Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, great. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Put your hand around that team. Let's see what it looks like. We get it all set. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saved Mike the trouble of the censorship. I like that. It's, uh, so, uh, but no. So I guess we'll just kind of you, dive into the. Beach. You set him up. I did start that. You son I of. I didn't think bitch. he would go there. Though. That was a softball serve. That was awesome. I was trying to body shame our guests. It wasn't you guy at all. I never do that. We never body shame a guy. <laughs> um, so the first beer we're going to work with is the Shiner Blonde. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, you guys came out with this last year. Oh no, uh, Shatter Blind's been out for about uh, I think about seven or eight. Oh, it's just oh, really? been our territory oh. recently. Yeah, it's, it's Texas. Okay. Now we launched it in uh, Florida about a year ago. Okay, yep. gotcha. So if you want to talk about it as I pour it, sir. Sure, absolutely. Um, so Shatter Light Blonde is a very easy drinking beer. Uh, it's four point two percent alcohol. It is not meant to be robust, overwhelming. There's so many beers out there that are really trying to watch the carbs and calories and things like that. So our Shiner Light Blonde is actually 99 calories. Wow. So we okay. wanted to really try to get a play in the market where, you know, it's still craft, still made uh, out of Shiner. Every drop of Shiner beer brewed is from Shiner, Texas. So we wanted to make a play in the craft beer light region with our Light Blonde. Very nice. Great can, too. I like the can. Great colors, the way it kind of goes. Kind of grabs you on the shelf. So uh, it, kind of sh it looks like it's a light. What's the ABV on this? 4.2. Ah, so here's the cool part about this guy. <laughs> guy, you can take this home and drink a couple 12-packs and still have your pants on. So I'm pretty Look excited about it. Yep. And we're going to go. Success story, right? <laughs> well, my there. pants are off as soon as I walk through the door. Oh, is that right? what it is? Oh. Kind of like, what is it, uh, Al Bundy or one of them that takes his the pants off? Shoes and pants at the door. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. That's right. <laughs> Those are just the rules. you got to follow them. This is that is tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where this, where you would start and oh, wow. keep going. Yeah, for Just quite a while. I, I've gotten uh, lawnmower beer. You know, I've, I've gotten a lot of people that say, you know, it's hot as heck here in Florida. And one of the things I do is when I leave for the day, I put one of these in the fridge, make sure it's all the way in the back, ice cold, mow my beer, and slug one of these. It goes down real quick. It's yeah, really yeah. When you mow your beer, it's pretty good. Um, I like to mow my lawn and then yeah. drink the beer, well, but it's all right. We'll get it all set. You, mow, you mow the head off your beer, right? <laughs> Like you, mowed, you mowed the head off that beer just now? Yeah, I just yeah. mowed the head right yeah. off. I had to. That would be a work. dangerous beer for me to have in my fridge because <laughs> it would. They, would, they would disappear just as fast as they went I've in. seen you on Chuggers. I think that would be a very dangerous beer. I've been trying to, <laughs> and I feel like you could, be, like you said, with the with the low calorie count, I feel like you could actually like do sit-ups while having this beer, too. You could do hey, you you know work what? out. We should do. We should do that. We should start working out up here and drinking beer as we're doing it. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll we get got a room for gym equipment back there. Okay, we'll That's get a plenty, treadmill plenty room, and we'll get yeah. some stair steps. And <laughs> what's with this <laughs> wee stuff? Well, <laughs> you, you taking a good look at me recently? <laughs> He's trying to include you again. I know. Well, the only way I'm working out is 12 ounces at a time. Okay, brother. okay. <laughs> Maybe you should move up to 16 ounces. Get it going a little bit faster. Okay. Burning. My no hands more. aren't big enough. <laughs> oh, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> That's All right, tasty, guys. though. I'll give you guys credit because just walking up here to get to the studio was a workout. It is a work. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I asked them to put one of those old people chairlift things in for me. They won't do it. But yeah. I know a lot of people, <laughs> people who are hearing this segment, they'll be like, are you guys, do you, re you really drink beer on the radio? I'm like, yes, we're exhausted from that. We need the <laughs> calories. We need, we need calories back. <laughs> so we can get back down. <laughs> So it's I tell everybody task. it's it's like that uh, movie with the uh, with the chocolate Willy Wonka. It's like Willy Wonka when you're coming up, there, it just keeps going and going and going and going. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for little green guys to jump out at me. Let me think about those guys for a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I love Willy okay, Wonka. that's good. So we chocolate got factory. All right. Oh, so, I know what you have in your hand now. Yeah, Mike. I got the iconic Shiner Bach. Shiner Bach. Okay. So go ahead, Mike, with this if you want to go ahead and tell everybody. Yeah, so Shiner Bach is our flagship beer. Uh, it was originally brewed. <clears throat> it was originally brewed as a seasonal beer. Uh, however, it 
grew such popularity, people demanded to have it all year round. And so it became our flagship, uh, what would you say, maybe it was it the 80s? Yes. That's really when yeah. it started taking yeah. off. So um, been around, this, brews, uh, or excuse me, this beer's been brewed uh, since about 1913. So it's uh, one of the older beers since we started in 1909. Um, and it was, like I said, a seasonal. It's a very nice, easy drinking beer, 4.5%. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Just nice malt flavor, and what I love about this beer is it finishes very clean. It's not a lingering beer, even though it is a darker beer. It's got a great light body to it, and it really speaks to um, this. Just honestly, the brew quality of our brewmaster um, and what we've been able to do because it's hot in Texas, it's hot here in Florida. But I, I some people say, oh, I don't want a dark beer; it's too warm for that. You know, and they all they all get scared about dark beer. But you know what? It's sure. got plenty of flavor, nice and light. Yeah. If you're Drink blindfolded, it. you don't know that this is a dark beer. Yes. Yeah. And it's you it's, never know. it's you know a lot of people's dark beers. It's it's, it's the roasted malts and how you come out. Yeah. So your beers are going to be darker. Uh, to certain beers, you know, stouts. This is a Bach, which is actually a lager, and and we talk about that where the the yeast kind of consumes more of that sugar, so you're not getting a super sweetness on it. Um, you're getting a little. You're laughing. What's yeah, that? I like what they have on their website, uh, Shiner.com. It pairs nicely with porch sitting, washer tossing, and dog petting. Oh, it's good. Oh, well, it is Texas after all. <laughs> that sounds almost like West Virginia. Yeah, I, I, heard it. I want to see one of you son of a bitches toss a washer. I, yeah. Either that or toss a dog and, and pet a washer. I'm not sure which way it's going <laughs> to go. But it's like how many box you have. As yeah, absolutely. As iconic as this beer is, this was not the original single that won for Shiner, or was there something that preceded it? What was yeah, the original? Yeah. The original was Shiner Premium. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. And is that a lager around, as well? Yeah, it's a lager yeah. as well. It's a, um, okay. it's a regular lager. Yeah. We still brew it. It's very uh, very popular, obviously, in Shiner. Yeah. Uh, it's distributed uh, in a lot of states, but primarily in Texas. Okay. Okay. That's a good point yeah. on that one, man. Nice catch. I like it. Yeah, it says here Shiner Bach was originally a seasonal beer, but it was demanded year-round since 1973. Can't believe, you know, can't when you're command. tossing washing machines, you get very tired and thirsty. This sure. is a great beer to go <laughs> ahead and knows. do that with. You've Absolutely. seen Donkey Kong. You know how he rolls. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, okay. the barrels, but yeah, you got it over. Yeah, and yeah. you're the princess, I would say. Yeah, right? yes, I'll right. save, save me. But uh, <laughs> get, <laughs> getting back <laughs> getting back to the <laughs> Shiner Bach, um, it is a lager, like I say. So that, that eases me a lot of that sugar, so you're not going to get a super sweetness a little bit of dry finish on the back real nice was it Super five no, four and a half four and a half yeah. again yeah. nice easy drink and and ready to go so yeah. uh and shiner's iconic it's been around forever it's one of those beers you you say shiner bought somebody and they're like oh yeah yeah I've had, I, I, I remember shiner bought yeah. so it's like yeah bring it out and go so it's it, it's an awesome awesome thing and i would think the shiner could be successful and do fine for as long as you've done it without going beyond what what we have j- already tried but yeah. then you have Oh, that's you've got, step it up. You've some, got some fancy here. options, right? In an ever-changing craft market, you got to innovate. you got to right. come up with stuff. So uh, the two new brands that we're launching is Day Quencher, which is a session ale. Um, super easy going beer. Um, it is really nice. You get nice light body, nice flavor, and it's mostly uh, that flavor derives from a dry hopping with mosaic. And the hop just lends itself a little bit, just kind of whispers at you. And then you get a really clean finish. That's my also my favorite part about uh, this beer is our clean finish that we yeah. have with it. It's funny because, you know, we talk about hops, and there's so many different strains, and they're coming out with so many different varietals now. And Mosaic is not even that old. Oh, was it four years ago, five years ago? It was called uh, Hop X57421, <laughs> and now, it's, you know, they come out with the Mosaic. And uh, it's a great hop. It's been growing stronger and stronger ever since. So uh, great imports great flavor profiles on your beer. Yep. Every time you mention the hop name, it makes you think of Area 51, you know? <laughs> Some sort of like, like illegal beer I should not be trying. Yeah. Oh, wow. The, uh, the aroma of this beer. Very. Oh, wow. Like, oh, I'm like, yeah. Nose is really, uh, yeah. Really, really oh, it is really nice. Yeah, you're getting into I smell them all before I drink yeah. them. This is this is falling into the Riggs wheelhouse right here. Another great thing about this beer, guys, is it's under five percent. It's a four point six. Really? So yeah, and it's only eighteen IBU. So okay. you smell that beer, and you smell like everybody knows, right? The IBUs, international yeah. bitter units, we talk about all the time. Um, you smell this beer, and it smells like it's gonna be mm-hmm. a thirty or forty at least. And you're drinking is eighteen, so nice oh. and smooth. Yeah, this is definitely a new beer. It's just started to be brewed in, uh, this year, right? Twenty eighteen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Wow, nice finish yeah. on that, right? Just a little bit of hop tingle at the end. I would like um, to invite that beer to the beach. Would you? You yeah. want to go out with yes, it? Yes, I would oh, love to. Yeah. I think you guys actually match. Several hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, so, yeah, but, the, love yeah, but there's a difference. The beer's good. The hat sucks. 
I can't say anything. I'm a Bills <laughs> fan, so my guys half retire right halfway through. So yeah. we're all good. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> getting a lot of press this week. Huh? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I can't believe you just said, I'm done playing. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But anyway, that's football. We're talking beer. <laughs> um, I mean, after all, who's in who's in, who's in in Texas anyways? A team called the oh, Cowboys uh-oh. and another team called the, um, the Texans. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a Giants fan, so we didn't fare oh. so well this week. That's why oh, I, wow. I failed to mention any teams. <laughs> Uh, but speaking of football, these beers would go great with football. Being lower in alcohol, you're sitting there and you can have you can have a bunch of them as you're watching, eating nachos, watching your guys, and and if you're like me, trying to drown your sorrows and just enjoy the game. You know, absolutely. And so for uh, most Publix stores, we have our Bach and our Light Blonde in Publix. Right. So those are places to find it. Also, Total Wine is a great spot. ABC, ABC Liquors, uh, um, and some of our other uh, small independents that yeah. are out there. Cool. Um, so we got some really good stuff going. Um, and we had a meeting today. Um, the, the actually we had the meeting last night. It's Thursday. It's Friday today. We had it last night on Thursday, and we talked about some new innovative stuff that these guys are bringing in. Yep. Um, we're pretty excited about it. We're going to take a look, um, and we're, we're going to sit down and maybe talk about trying to reintroduce draft out there and and, and see what's going on. Now they've got some feats on the street, and they've got some people out here, and Absolutely. and these guys are awesome. awesome. So we're going to take a look next year. You should see a little bit more of uh, Shiner around. Love it. Absolutely, especially with our two <clears throat> new brands too. We're really hoping that the market and people start to embrace these new yeah. brands and. Uh, uh, Publix, Total Wine, those would be your main focal points. And then, um, you know, we obviously love the support from the independents. So anyone, you know, who's willing to take us in, reach out to us. We'll be over there. Say thank you and support your customers as much as possible. Yeah, because you want to be hearing it, too. Absolutely. <laughs> right. If you guys want to find out where it is right now, you can go to srparat.com and go to our beer finder, type in Shiner Bach, and it'll show you the locations you can get it. I've used that three times. And I don't know how many videos you've watched that we've done, but I always pick one beer. I go and find it, and I clear out the shelf, shelf, and I take a picture, and I send it to them. Yep. I buy everything they have on the shelf. Everything. <laughs> everything. And he goes, look what I did. Click. Look what I did there. I'm like, dude, there was like five cases there. That's all right. It'll be gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how thirsty I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm telling you, man, we, we talk about it at least once a week. There's a, a, a group out there called Chuggers on Facebook, and uh, he'll end up having those beers online on Chuggers. He'll be like, oh. Oh, yeah, he went out and got him. He did. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, when we're done here, I'm probably going to slam one we're of gonna them. We're going to slam one of these. All All right, right, guys, if you guys have more, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got Guess cool sweet. <laughs> Guess what I'm getting into right now, fellas. As you don't even have to open it up. I can, can smell it. What do you guys like? IPA. There we go. We're going to go into uh, IPA. Mike, if you want to talk about this new Wicked Juicy IPA. Wicked kind of juicy. excited about it. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> it is uh, probably our newest edition. Um shipping soon here to the state of florida 5.7 percent so it's on the higher end as you guys have probably noticed most of our beers we try to keep between really four to four to you know five and a half percent so it's a little bit higher uh more much more ibus uh 60 ibus it's a nice quality hopped beer um and it says juicy on it It, you definitely get a juicy nose on it but i would say the biggest claim to fame with this is it's an unfiltered ipa so while it is hazy you do get the juicy factor it's you know you don't have a bunch of particles floating around that are bumping onto your lips and palate you know it's mm-hmm. just a nice clean unfiltered IPA. So you're getting a you're getting some of the uh, yeast left over proteins in there, which is awesome, giving those flavor profiles. Because some of these guys that are doing what they call juicy IPAs, or they're doing uh, they call them New England style IPAs because right. we have to put everything in a category. Um, you had some stuff in there, I didn't want to pour it. So they get. Um, um, they use powder or they use something else in there to get it to be uh, uh, juicy and unfiltered, like look like that. But these yeah. guys are just throwing it out there and not filtering all those proteins and stuff that you would normally filter out of a beer um, and hot uh, uh, hot bits and all that stuff. And that's where you're getting this flavor from. So I love um, that it's beer. awesome. And that's I where that, that juiciness comes from is you're basically like eating a hop, right? G- getting that juicy, yeah. licky kind of mm-hmm. stuff from a hop. The can looks awesome it as does. well. That's what I told him. I was like, I was yeah. amazed at the graphics. I thought the graphics were really good. And as everybody knows, in a world where we have seven thousand breweries, yeah. um, and you walk into a shelf somewhere, it's and you have something that pops on the shelf, mm-hmm. that's going to sell and it's going to go. So that beer's got a ton of flavor, man. Yeah. I love that yeah. beer. Well, that's I really figured good. IPAs. I, you're right. Yep. Yeah, bring yeah. Bring it out. It's going to happen. Hey yeah, that's really good. It's, it's very drinkable. You how, can, you can oh, wow. it. how difficult is it to set? To set yourself apart for an IPA wow. these days with all the craft IPAs, I mean, is, is, is it just trying 
it's tough. different hops and stuff. And it, it's a tough market. It's very competitive. Yeah. Um, you know, as Vinny was saying, seven thousand, and most breweries are doing IPAs of some sort. So, um, you know, I got to thank you. The packaging really does, I think, help set us apart, and also good liquid. You know, if yeah. people are willing to try it. You know, people usually find a favorite, and whether you're at a bar or a place, you're a little unsure, you go right back into what you're comfortable with, what you're familiar mm-hmm. with. So we're really hoping that um, after we run some promotions and, you know, people are willing to, you know, spend, you know, eight bucks on a six-pack, they're yeah. willing to, you know, take a dive with us, we can go ahead and grab a loyal customer. Well, we can tell you right now, if you find a six-pack of that and it's eight bucks, you're stealing it. Get it. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, to be honest really with the good. beers that are out there, yeah, that's, that's a great really price good. point. Yeah. So we're looking at possibly bringing this in when? Um, uh, some some uh, distributors have started shipping and getting samples in, but I, we could get an order in as early as next month. Yeah, we'll take it. Well, we had talked about the other beer earlier today, like yeah. Steve said, and we can and what you said earlier. So absolutely. Well, guys, just uh, kind of hopefully you look out in the market. Um, if any, uh, and you'll be able to see it. I'm, I, se- I'm sending you an order. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I will <laughs> tell you. Uh, cool. I just want to kind of throw out there. We just talked about it earlier. One thing not related with you guys, but don't forget this Saturday at Copper Bottom uh, from one to five, we have the local beer oh, fest yeah. going on. Right. We're going to have 13 different breweries there for local, and we're going to have Copper Bottom, and we're going to have a food truck, and we're going to have some other stuff. So make sure you come out to support that great charity involved in that. Um, and then on the 6th of October, there's a few things going on. Um, we actually have a thing if you go to support Volusia. It's a bus trip that they're taking you down from the land out to Orlando. Oh, Dress yeah. up as your favorite uh, superhero, cosplay, right? cosplay, cosplay whatever, whatever you want to yeah. do. There again, 100% charity driven. Uh, I just... Cape. Find a cape. Uh, I just found out some cool news. Um, anybody here, do you guys watch um, Gas, Monkey. Gas Monkey Garage? Yes. Yeah. Well, do you remember the episode where they built the truck for Shiner Bach, the pickup truck? No. Uh, the then you don't watch uh, Gas April, Monkey. Late, uh, aired last April. Really? March, right? I saw it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, they're bringing a the truck out October 6th. It's going to be at Total Wine. Wow. And it's pretty awesome I'll looking vehicle. That. Absolutely. I've I don't... yelled at their monster truck before. Oh, like, have you? Yeah, you just yeah, have. Yeah, Indiana. Yeah. It didn't well, have Shiner on it. I don't think they're going to let anybody drive it, right? It's just going to sit there. We can't come out and drive it. Vinny, we may let you drive. Oh, me? I'm excited. All right. Yeah, look at that. Uh, but no. a helmet on that thing? It's <laughs> I need a very big helmet. All right. Um, it's a pretty cool situation, guys. If, uh, if you haven't seen the truck, you can go on and check it out. Uh, Shinerbach, I'm sure, has pictures of it. Sweet. It's it's awesome. Um, so make sure you come out for that. They'll be uh, doing some sampling, too, or no? Yes, we'll yeah. be doing some sampling inside the uh Total. Total wine. Okay. Uh, perfect. And then um, I just found out, too, uh, I think I talked about it last week, but the Saturday after Thanksgiving, we're going to have that big beer fest yeah. at the Turkey Rod Run. Sweet. And I think we're negotiating so you guys can be out yeah. there so they can meet you. That'd be kind of cool. We think about doing this show live out there. Be from there. Think? I think it'd yeah. be a really cool situation. Yeah. Uh, and by then, I'll be able to have their Shiner product out there. You can try the stuff that we have here. That's even Definitely. More if it's not even in the market yeah. yet, but hopefully it'll be there. I was going to show it for you. You know, were you? We were just gonna. We we're just because of you. But no. oh man, you're Shiner in the mix now. It's even better. Dan's even better. Yeah. Why are you lying? We're we're showing up for the beer. I know. I just <laughs> felt good for a second there. But thanks. when I see Vinny, I just think beer. I don't see. I, yeah, I know. Just, there. He's like a, I'm just a big, just a big flesh bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, absolutely. Next time you'll think twice about taking shots at me so soon. <laughs> <laughs> you should have waited. Uh, oh, you have glass. Yeah. yeah. Be careful. So we have one yeah. more. Don't break this the is glass. actually one of my favorite holiday beers. Uh, this is about around, how long have you guys been doing this one? A while now, right? Oh, China Cheer has been around for over oh, over ten years. Yeah, it's yeah. This is it's a this is a great holiday beer. So if you guys want to give yeah. us a little note on it, yeah, absolutely. Um, China Cheer is actually one of my favorite beers as well that we make. And the reason being is because usually around the holiday time, people throw very dark, heavy beers out there, mm-hmm. and most of them are stouts or something wintry. Right. Um, and I don't know if it's because Texas it's hot, Florida it's hot, uh, but the beer is so great. It is a Dunkelweiss with peaches and roasted pecans. Okay. Wow. So it is something unique for the holiday time. I like all the words you're saying right now because I don't like the big <laughs> heavy holiday. I don't like the big heavy holiday. amazing. Yeah, I could smell it pouring it from here. Mm-hmm. Get all that peach. Oh, and, and there again, going with the Dunkelweiss, going back to their German roots. Yep. That's awesome. See, if you looked at this bottle, you would probably think, all right, a dark, heavy holiday beer. This is So all of our ingredients we use, uh, in this case, we use peaches, our Texas oh my God. peaches, and pecans. And at one time, and the brand's obviously gotten very, they used to roast the pecans on the lawn of the brewery. Really? On the side of the brewery. Oh, that's pretty so, awesome. Uh, so everything is, is natural in this, and it's all um, 
Texas-based products. Okay. So these are Texas peaches, Texas pecans. So it's all local, indigen to, indigenous to where you are. Correct. That's awesome. So I there, almost again. said a swear word after I yeah. took a sip of this. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> yes. I want you to say happy holidays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Cheers. shouting. Am yes. I looking more and more like Santa Wait, Claus now? It, did it just start snowing in here? It did. <laughs> Wow, that's it's a winter awesome. wonderland. It is a winter wonderland of cheers, of holiday cheer. So now, is, is this available now, or is it going to be available real no. soon? No. I, uh, uh, cheer, I, cheer actually comes out uh, mid-October, following our Oktoberfest. Okay. And it will be in uh, Publix, in oh. Total Wine, in the Independence, as well as uh, ABC. Okay. But it is gone usually by the first or mid-December. So you, you know, gotta. Um, so don't wait. So you when it comes know, out, like, go into it and stock up. Right now, we want <laughs> you know we want to sell every every bit we can, but at the same time, uh, it is sold out fast, and uh, wholesalers are reluctant to reorder in December because they don't want it after the Christmas holiday. So this is a very limited release brand. I got to tell you. Um, you can tell the beer is good by his face. When he does, <laughs> that's what I told him to zoom in. You know, we're all sitting here drinking beers, and like, oh yeah, it's a good beer, it's a good beer. Yeah, but when know. when guy stops. And stares at it. That's a beer he truly loves. So I just I didn't mean to cut in on you, but I've I'm never it. had anything that tasted like no, that before in a beer. And guess what? It's not an IPA. Yeah. Boom. I yeah. I don't want to cuss. I'm, I don't give a sh what is in it. Yeah. I'm it's, I'm going. That's phenomenal. Holy. Sh oh my God. This is really good. Hey, is guy? there more? Yeah. yeah guy. I guy. <laughs> who's your man to introduce you to good beer? These gentlemen. Who's your oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you think I was going to give you that one? <laughs> it's like a. It's like if you took the best parts of a holiday fruitcake oh, and you put a good beer in it. Oh, Absolutely. man. I this is now going to be my Christmas beer. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. I just want to wrap some well, presents. I'll right tell now. you what, Vinny, um, we can have these guys delivered by five or six cases. All and, right. And, and you can build me for that. All well, right, we'll do that. Now, here's the thing. Awesome. I'm telling you right now. He's gonna hold well, me. I was to gonna it. drink the whole damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Like yeah, freaking format. beer. That's yeah, a great that's, beer, guys. I told wow. you. I told you in the beginning. That's a, the Shiner Cheer is one of my favorites, and yeah. um, that's uh, this is just a tremendous beer. It's different from anything I've ever had. Wow. And that's just it is a totally different. I've had peach beer. I've had pecan beer. Right. I've had Dunkel Vices. I've had this is all of those put together, and it's just amazing when you drink it. I feel like it's the holiday. I feel like Santa Claus. Yeah. I was just going to say that. It's like they they found how to make a holiday taste like something and put it in a bottle. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, wow, and this is add, amazing. And to add a little bit more Christmas cheer to your joy, uh, this is going to be available in Total Wine uh, when we're running a hot price ad uh, from the 11th to the 25th through Thanksgiving. So this beer, you could actually have it for your Thanksgiving dinner. Oh. That's awesome. See that? Yes, please. Yes. I'll base a turkey in the son bitch. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. No? No, you'll, that's a waste. Because uh, then you can't drink it. Good point. Just sorry. dump the turkey I in got, it. I got carried away. I, I got euphoric with the flavor. I'm so right. What pour, you got to do. Pour in mouth, then eat turkey. Put it in a big cup, rip yeah. off pieces of turkey, dunk it in there and eat it. Like you, you do go. at McDonald's with go. fries and, and, <laughs> and, and Mountain Dew. That's, so you're that's all good. the pairing actually that's on the website. I think it's very, very interesting. <laughs> Wow, I did not know Shiner was going like this. I didn't know. Oh, I've learned yeah, you know why? Because you sat here, you go, oh, Shinerbach. Well, Shiner. Yeah. It's not, it's not, the brewery's not called Shinerbach. The brewery's called Shiner. Right. So you got to remember, they make other beers beside Bach. How Bach's we, an amazing beer. So learned. when you refer to it, you got to refer to it as Shiner and say, oh my God, they got some great beers. Not just Bach. Wow. <laughs> right? Um, so, well, um, in, the, in the spring, we're coming out with a pineapple IPA. Yeah, pineapple something else, right? Uh, pineapple oh. coconut. Pineapple coconut. coconut. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be dipping our toes into the very wicked tropical area with yeah. our IPAs. Is it a difficult sell uh, for the uh, for the bigs at uh, Shiner to go and go, hey, here's an idea, pineapple. Or it, <laughs> it's, like, oh, yeah. it's a bit of a gear change, but, yeah. you know, they're a very traditional brewery yeah. uh, that we work with. And, you know, it's it's a little bit difficult, but they see it like everyone else. There's, uh, you know, things are constantly evolving mm -hmm. in this yeah. market, and you know, you got to come up with different beers. Yeah. And, you know, test the water, see what works, and you know, sometimes you find a home run, and you never know. <laughs> and you can lick the what? bottle. <laughs> just lick the bottle. I, I, I just got caught. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an edible label. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Lick the label. It's awesome. It tastes like schnozberries. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. So, you guys know what a snozberry is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just a heads up, so I have the bottle here. 
but it also in Florida it'll be available in cans, and the cans, the case will look almost exactly oh. like the label. So that's how you can find and it. I'll be a honest. white box with this cheerful holiday Christmas writing on it. And I think we're going to end up with the cans, right? Because they're going into the public. Yeah. Yep. So we'll end up with yep. cans. So keep an eye on. Right. What do we talk about? What's the best uh, container to put beer in? A can. Thank you. That's put right. Can. Okay. So exciting. Looking forward to that and going. And wow. you know, we talk about it. We preach every every week about how cans are the best container to put it in. You know, years ago you had issues. Now we don't. Everything's good. It's like a mini keg, right? Absolutely. You sit there and you tap it. If you like him, you poke a hole in it, then open the top and tap it that way. <laughs> but you get it all set. But normally you get it and drink it. So it's delicious. My favorite part: it cools down faster than a bottle. It does absolutely, and it looks so good in your Perfect. hand. Here. Goes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go you might want to turn that camera off soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, in, uh, in closing, to Rudolph, to Vinny, to Shiner, to Blitzen. Oh, to all of them. It's Absolutely. uh It's uh, very fast. Although, again, total rule out the rest. They're perfect. That would make a great holiday gift, though. All of those beers. Oh, you know? uh, actually, real sampler. quick before we shut down, yeah. they are working on stuff next year where they're you're gonna have a mixed six pack uh, really? of different, not a mixed twelve pack, a mixed freaking six pack really? of different beers. So you can take that out, put a bow on it, slap it underneath the tree, and you can have somebody who, share out what who they does need. That Cre- no one does that. No, no, it's awesome. They usually do it in twelve packs. These guys are uh, innovative and they're thinking ahead and they're looking at six packs. So that's that's awesome. You can pick one up and go. So you know, a variety six pack is almost impossible. That's just amazing that you're coming out with that. Yeah, it'll I, be, uh, heat wave. <clears throat> And cold front. So yeah. the heat wave, obviously, summertime. Mm-hmm. Cold front is going to be more your fall, winter time. And Perfect. you'll have th- uh, two bottles of three styles. And the, ho- the winter ones will obviously be more catered to uh, more robust flavors, a little bit higher ABV, you know, some that's warming. Mm-hmm. And then the summer heat pack, the heat wave pack, that'll be more <coughs> tropical flavors like prickly, pr- uh, prickly uh, pear and um, sea, salt lime. sea salt lime. And the cherry uh, something in there, too, I yeah, saw. Yeah, lime cherry. Yep. So, and uh, you know, there's going to be some great, great new things coming to the Florida market with Shiner. Uh, so we're looking forward uh, to it, guys. You know, these guys have uh, been around a while. Sometimes you have to shift gears and change some stuff up. So they brought some people down here, and um, we're going to see a lot more feet on the street with them. And we're pretty excited next year for Shiner. Well, one last thing, and we'd be remiss with that. Following Cheer will be a brand we're calling S'mores. Oh. And that will be coming oh. out uh, following Cheer in uh, – January and February. So when the marketing department brought that to us, we there's a few raised eyebrows. In mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. See so what chocolate graham cracker. It, and the more we've done some, you know, birthday cake. It's it's a and that's actually our birthday beer. <coughs> okay. So we own the uh, the trademark rights to birthday beer, and every year we celebrate our birthday with a different really? unique beer. Last year was a farmhouse ride. Year before it was a. Collaboration with uh, with mm-hmm. Cobra Coffee. Didn't you guys do a one? German chocolate cake or something yeah, one we time? Did a, we did a chocolate stout the year before that. Yep. So S'mores is pushing the elbow up a little bit. Definitely draw a lot of attention. So um, it's got my attention. I will tell you though, please do not put it on a stick and try to roast it. Just no, drink it out I'll of the bottle. Destroy, I'll be happy to. <laughs> if you guys want to find out uh, all these beers that we were talking about, you can go to Shiner.com. And if you want to find out where to get them, you go to srparat.com. Absolutely. Right. Uh, and one other quick thing: Do you guys actually have a, a brew pub where you? Are. People go and sample and do all kind of stuff in China? Yep, we do. Uh, we actually, uh, it is part of our original brewery that was uh, created, you know, a hundred years ago, if you will. So we have a small little tap room there with the gift shop and buy some good trinkets and goodies. Um, and then you could actually take a tour if you happen to find yourself in the middle of Texas, a.k.a. Shiner, Texas, <laughs> um, where you can take a tour of our new facility where we put a bunch of money into investing as far as new brew kettles, expansion, and we could crank some serious beer out. We are in 49 states, and every drop of beer that we brew is brewed in Shiner, Texas. We're the wow. sixth largest craft brewery in the country. I was going to say, you guys are in the top ten, so that's awesome. And you've continuously been in the top ten right. and growing your way up through on that whole situation. Yep. That's phenomenal. Okay. I want to. I, th- I feel like a road trip now. <laughs> I think so. I think we should get a bus together and just yeah. like hit all these breweries we've been talking about. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, Mike can drive and yeah. do the camera yeah. at the same time. Yeah. He's um, yeah. like beer. And then and then we have a guy in the back with his pants off, and then you and me, and we yeah. just go. Yeah. I think Absolutely. it'd be pretty good. Somebody's got to be responsible. For Absolutely. Well, what you don't know is I've already taken my pants uh, off. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That's what we. That's what we know. It's time to cheers. Right. Yeah. Well, thank. Thank you, gentlemen. That you've enriched uh, our you. beer lives. Thanks, Shiner. And oh, okay. Cheers to you. I love them. Get the Shiner part. Nice. Good job, guys. Awesome.